So how did that, that mark now through getting to know Jesus? How did you ever find your way to become a pastor? Uh, I was actually going to go to the film industry. That was my passion. Uh, so I was already I was already enrolled in college, and uh, there was a few instances that happened where a couple groups of friends kind of came around me in like a two month span, and they said I remember sitting around a fire one day and. My buddy was uh, signed up to go to Bible college. I didn't even know what Bible college was. And my family, of course, didn't. So my but I'm like, what's this thing you're going to? He's like, oh, it's Bible. I'm like, that's a thing? And my buddies actually came around me, and they started to speak into my life and say, we think you have these gifts, the gift of leadership, the gift of teaching, the you know, gift of knowledge, and so on. And they went through these li a, a list of spiritual gifts, and they said, we think you should do this in your life. You need to pursue this. And then I went away, and I was away, and this this man came up to me as my uh, friend's father, totally disconnected from these guys. Within a two or three year period, spoke all the same words into my life and prayed over me and said, "I think you need to go pursue this." And I said, "My parents don't think I'm going to let me do this." So I went and got all the brochures. I sat down and I said, "Hey, mom, can I try this?" And they're like, "This is nuts." And I'm like, "I know, but give me." And they said, "You can do a year of it, but if you fail out, then you're going back to college, mm. you know, normal college." And, uh, and so I, uh, I did it and jumped into it and it, it just took off from there. My uh, professor took me under his wing very early, made me uh, start teaching classes, made me a TA. Uh, my first lecture I did in my second year, he came up to me and he said, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, next week you have an hour and a half to execute this passage because I wrote a paper for it. And he said, I don't want to steal your stuff. I think you have stuff here that's... So it was like all these moments that developed into something and so... Anyway, so, uh, and then there was pastors that came around me and affirmed and gave me opportunity before I should have probably got it. And that's interesting. Uh, okay. And I would say that to pastors out there, give young people opportunity before they're probably ready for it. Uh, interesting. I would, I would, I would be smoking out back of the church, <laughs> put my cigarette out and walk up and preach. Preach. To the youth group. <laughs> so anyway, I don't preach. Oh, I my. wouldn't smoke in front of you.